G'day YouTube and welcome to my very first very awkward uh, two camera log ahead devlog. So for me there's been a few interesting changes. So I've also um, upped the production values of this slightly. I've bought myself a camera and a microphone so you'll have to get used to seeing me a little bit more but I'm also trying to make these videos a bit punchier and just raising the bar of quality. So I really hope you enjoy this devlog and um, if you like what you see, give me a like, uh, subscribe and let me know any feedback's welcome. So thanks guys, enjoy. Loggerhead is an old school 80s slasher horror game in the style of the OG Resident Evil. Featuring fixed camera angles and tank controls, you assume the role of either Daryl or Tracy as they try to escape an Australian campsite filled with undead old time loggers. This week, I did some work on the inventory system. Possibly not as exciting, but a necessary element of the game. I drew a lot of inspiration from the original Resident Evil inventory and tried to replicate this look and feel. I created my own icons for the inventory items and applied a pixelation filter to give them the right look. After copying and pasting more of my crappy code into the inventory system, I got it up and running. Next, I wanted to develop a health system similar to Resident Evil that would show the condition of the player. In the original RE, there were three main states, fine, caution, and danger. I created my own version of the animation and exported them as a sprite sheet. I decided to Aussieify. Is that a word? <sighs> my own health status in Loggerhead and have three main states as well. They are sweet as, knackered, and munted. There was just one more thing that was bothering me about the gunplay in the game. When the camera is following the player, the aiming becomes awkward when you're using the rifle or the shotgun, as it becomes a bit off center and difficult to align to your target. This is fine when you're in fixed camera area because it's easier to see where the barrel is pointing. The pistol is also okay as it points forward in relation to the player's position. To fix this, I decided to add a new camera aim position that activates when aiming either the rifle or the shotgun. This gives the player a much better view of where the gun is pointed. It still needs a lot of work, but I feel like it's heading in a better direction. This new feature also switches off when the player enters a fixed camera area. Hey, you kids, get off me lawn. Get off me lawn, you mongrels. Go on, get. Bloody get, get. Well, I just want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Give me a like, please, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, tell me why. I'm very, very sorry. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some more game dev videos, hopefully a few other little bits and pieces. I've also taken up 100 days of game dev challenge on Twitter. And uh, yeah, you can fi find me there at Cat Affordable. I'll put all the links below for that, as well as my uh, first game, Martha. So yeah, thanks. Bye.